Interested in using tech in your classroom, but students don't have access to their own device? No problem. Using our favorite tool, ClassPoint, I'll walk you guys through how you can make your classrooms more interactive for students, even if they don't have their own device. Activity idea number one, design a gamified reward system. This does not require students to have devices and can be used in lots of different ways. You can turn daily routines into fun student progress boards with rewards, or use it to track students' progress throughout time and their participation in different activities. You can use ClassPoint's gamification rewards system to do just that right inside PowerPoint. You can award students stars, which will cause them to level up, and you can even show them their progress through the leaderboard. This leaderboard can be inserted right into your PowerPoint presentation. That way you can keep track of your students and review it at a later date. This leaderboard and how you award students stars is totally customizable and can be determined by you. What students must do to earn these stars has lots of different ways it can be done. You can award students stars for participation, good classroom behavior, for participating or winning in in-class activity. You get to choose how this is done. Once your class list is uploaded into ClassPoint, you see all of your student names and can go ahead and award them stars for when it's needed. All of these stars will total up, earning them new level badges. These levels, you can even decide that students can earn a prize once they reach a new level. And in ClassPoint, these levels can be totally adjusted so that suits the needs of your classroom. Activity idea number two, turn any PowerPoint slide into an interactive group activity. ClassPoint has a bunch of added tools that allow you to turn any slides into interactive activities without having to use ClassPoint's interactive student device questions. Turn any slide into an activity with draggable objects and annotation tools that allow students to come out of their seat up to the board and interact right with your PowerPoint presentation. Plus, I have a great way to pick which student gets to come up to the board, so stick around to find out how. So in your presentation, create a slide to turn into an activity to do with your class. I have this sorting activity here that usually I would just use PowerPoint animations to decide which objects go to which side of the slide. However, with ClassPoint's draggable objects, I can just go ahead, select any of the objects that I want to move and make sure that they are drag enabled. Then the students can come up to the board and begin dragging them in my presentation. For a fun idea on who gets to come up to the board, we can go ahead and use the name picker. So the name picker, we can just go ahead, click on one to reveal which student will come up to the board. And if students are coming up to the board, we can also do a fun interactive activity with ClassPoint's annotation tools for labeling. Activity idea number three, better interact with the learning materials on your slide. Don't just read off your slides in a monotone voice, interact with them. Makes presentations more engaging for students by using the spotlight to spotlight and highlight only certain information at a time, or you can use the laser pen to highlight information, or for something a little more permanent, you can go ahead and use class points, various annotation tools. You can even go ahead and add a templated whiteboard background into your presentation to go ahead and start a new discussion. Or you can continue to use ClassPoint's draggable objects to show your information in a more visual and clear way. Activity idea number four, explore the internet. The internet has so many different learning materials out there to help aid in your presentation to make it more exciting and understandable for students. And now you can do that without even having to leave your PowerPoint presentation. You can go ahead and click on the embedded browser icon on the ClassPoint toolbar and begin exploring the internet. For example, you can use this to take students on a virtual field trip right in the middle of your presentation. That way they get a better visual and understanding of exactly what they're learning. Plus, any of these slides can, any of these web pages can be inserted as a slide in your PowerPoint presentation. Then you can go ahead and begin annotating right on top of it. You can also use the embedded browser to look up any educational games if you have more time after class. So we like to use Bamboozle to find different games to play during class, or if you have time, you can look up different review games, Jeopardy, or memory games. Lastly, activity number five, manage your class activities with ClassPoints tools. During any in-class activities or review games, you can use ClassPoints tools like the timer for time management, the name picker to call groups, contestants, or students up to the board to play the game. You can use the whiteboard to track student scores and even award stars for student achievement. 
For example, you can do a trivia race and use Class Point's name picker to pick two or three students to come up to the board and answer a question. Whoever answers the question right first gets that star. You can go ahead and track all of these stars for students with Class Point's leaderboard right on the toolbar. Or instead, if you want to make this, instead of an individual event, a team event, you can go ahead and split your students up into groups. You can use the timer right inside of PowerPoint to give them time to discuss. And then once you, they have their answers, you can track and tally up all of their team scores. At the end of the game, whichever team has the most points, all of the team members can get a star right through Class Point. From class activities like Jigsaw to games like Around the World and Fly Swatter, Class Point's tools like Stars and the Timer and all of its other tools are conveniently located right inside of PowerPoint to help you manage your class activities and help motivate student participation. With these five different activities, I hope that you find one that you can integrate into your classroom to better interact and engage with your students without having to worry about them needing their own device to participate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop us a comment below, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.